Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday. It is January 21st, 2021. And uh, I'm doing another video from the balcony. I figure it's the easiest spot. I'd rather be down walking on the beach, but you guys can't hear me when I'm on the beach. So it is beautiful to walk down there. Obviously, today is a little overcast. It reminds me of New York today. <laughs> uh, we've had some really nice weather down here, and uh, it's been fantastic. So, uh, you know, I, I, I can't complain. I can't complain at all. But uh, anyway, I wanted to do a video today, and I, and I thought this was important. And, you know, especially with what has been going on, people are obviously very concerned. And so this video is what you should be prepping, okay? And I think this is really interesting because obviously there's a big push. Um, people have been prepping guns and ammo, okay? People are afraid, and when people are afraid, they usually think about defense. And that's understandable. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not knocking that at all. You should definitely be able to protect yourselves, okay? But what people should be prepping for, what you should be prepping for, if you're looking at an economic, let's go, let's go with an economic collapse. Economic collapse, food prices go through the roof. What should you be prepping for? How should you be getting ready for that? Being able to defend what you have is absolutely important. But being able to grow, being able to have seeds on hand, being able to have the tools that you need in a garden. Oh, look at all the pigeons all coming up to say hello. Oh, look at, hold on a second. I'm going to kick this around so you guys can see this. There they are, all hanging out. Hi, pigeons. <laughs> um, anyway, but, uh, you know, being able to um, have, uh, you know, getting things ready, being prepared in that aspect gardening, uh, being able to grow, being able to be sustaining of yourselves. So along with that, so what, what, what should you be prepping? Okay, and then I'm going to give you my advice on what I think. Oh, look at these guys. These guys are so cool. Look at that. He's right there. Hi, guys. Sorry, I'm easily distracted by animals. I like animals. And pigeons are pretty cool. Flying rats, but they're still pretty cool. What's going on? I don't really have anything for you, but you look very cool. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, my advice to people would be, number one, I am, and I know it's difficult to get them right now. Absolutely difficult to get them right now. And that's what prepping is all about in, the, in, in reality, is why you should have been doing this all along. Canning jars, canning lids, um, anything that you can use for preserving food, uh, you know, vacuum sealing things, having those type of things, having a vacuum sealer, being able to, to do those type of things, I think that's really, really important to be able to do. Also, um, you know, being able to have, you know, seeds are important. Gardening tools are going to be really, really important. Being able to know how to do composting, um, what you need to do, how do you, how do you make more soil that's going to be better, that's going to be viable, that you're going to be able to use. You know, knowing how to take that, uh, that chicken manure in, uh, you know, either wood shavings or straw or whatever it may be, and turn that into, into uh, a decent soil. You know, uh, rabbit poop is another really good thing for soil. Um, all these things are really important. They all fall together in those, in that, in that, uh, in what we should be thinking about, what we should be learning. Because I'm going to tell you what, you just can't put seeds in the ground and they're going to grow. Uh, soil is 90%, in my opinion, soil is 90% of the growing process. If you have good soil, you know, and obviously the weather is going to make a big difference as well. If you have decent weather for can or for growing. That makes a big difference as well. So again, the more you can control the environment of your growing, 
that's where greenhouses come in. And they don't have to be great big huge greenhouses. I mean it can be, you know, a smaller greenhouse that you put together and using plastic or whatever and stuff like that. Now so when it comes to that, making sure you have plenty of plastic uh, for the long run because again, and I've talked about this before, when the time comes, you are going to have what you have. That's it. You're not gonna have you're not gonna be going out to the store to be able to get more of anything. So to have enough plastic to last you for, you know, years and years and years is not a bad idea, you know, because things are going to break down, things are going to break. Look at all these guys. <laughs> these guys are funny. Grab, Nick, grab me, a, grab me a piece of bread off the hill of that bread, please. I got, I got pigeons out here. Okay, come on out here with me, Heather. You can help me feed the birds. We'll get, grab a couple pieces then. We're going to feed the birds, guys. Because we can just put it on a table here, Heather, and they'll come, they'll come right up and get it. Just grab a couple of the end pieces there. Hold on a second, guys. We're going to kind of share this with you. All right, you want to hold the camera? They know to look at them. Oh yeah, they do. Girls and boys. Hi. You have to come in here and get it. Oh my goodness, look at it right there. Oh yeah, they're eating. Of course they are. I'm putting it up here and we can come up on the table though. As soon as I back away, they'll get up on it. Watch. Okay. Alright. Let's see how they do that. Gotta get up on the table. Anyway. It's all up there. Oh, what happened? For whatever reason, I don't know what that was all about. They'll come back. Look at them. Here they come. I don't know what scared them. There you go. Here's the bread. Maybe I'm at the... No, they got this. I know they see it. That one, there he goes. Alright, we're just going to have fun with the birds here and let them... Let's see if they get to their, get to their bread. Should put it on the floor, maybe. Alright, let's do this. Hold on. Alright, they're not... They're more nervous than I thought. Let's see what they do now. All right, so here he comes. He's like, "All right, I got gotcha. you." Yeah. I don't know. This is pretty fun. I like this too. But anyway, um, talking about what I was talking about, being prepared the best that you can, looking at alternative ways, being able to grow food is going to be so so important. So those are really things you should be stocking up on, supplies that you need for that. Um, if you can, you know, get extra fertilizer and those type of things, that's going to really help you um, also in the long run. So those are things that people need to think about. And uh, you guys are so funny. Chowing that bread down. It's actually pretty funny watching them. But anyhow, um, that being said, I want to hear your guys' feedback. What other things do you think as far as preparing um, long-term 
for a survival situation, an economic collapse or something to that effect, to be able to sustain yourself, to be able to, to harvest and grow food. Um, one of the other things I definitely would recommend people to do is get trees, get fruit trees. If you can have fruit trees on your property, uh, you know, that can make a big, big difference in the long run. And I'm going to say I would get buy the more mature trees if you can. Get the ones that are uh, bigger. Uh, getting the, the, the saplings, they take forever before they're going to produce. You're looking at five years before you really get any kind of decent crop out of them. Okay, So with getting, uh, with getting things ahead of time, uh, you know, getting older, more mature trees to start with, it'll be that much less before you have to worry about, uh, you know, getting, um, you know, getting fruit from those trees. And uh, blueberry bushes, raspberry bushes, all those type of things that are going to, you know, give you, give you food over time, uh, those are important to have as well. So I really encourage people to do that as well. Oh, this guy's got, like, his foot, this one here, his foot's messed up. He's got like one foot that's good and he's got like a stump on his other foot, the one on the table. If you guys look at his foot, see? Look at that, poor thing. Doesn't seem to be slowing him down any. But, uh, well, this was kind of neat. I didn't expect this, but this was pretty cool. Um, so anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for right now. I definitely want to hear your feedback on this topic. What do you think? Uh, where are you at with this type of situation? How ready are you for that part of it? Okay, uh, I will talk at you all later. Remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. The more we can work together, the more that we can, uh, you know, help each other, the better off we're going to be. Also, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important. And we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. All right, well, I'm going to jump off here for now. They've obviously eaten all this bread, so my usefulness to them is gone, but that was pretty cool to watch. And I know they're little rats, and that's okay. Rats got to eat, too. All right, I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out.